Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Ben. All right, in in this video, we're gonna be talking about survival crops. You know, you know, my definition of survival crops is, you know, crops that you could it's easy to grow and it produces a large yield of food, and you could use that in multiple different ways. That's my definition of a survival crop. You know, so I'm gonna be doing a series of video. Where each video I'm gonna just focus on one specific survival crop. All right, in in this video we're gonna be focusing on the papaya. You know, these crops are gonna be crops that you could actually grow in the subtropics. You know, meaning Florida, Arizona, California. You know, and I mean it might give some of you ideas that live in colder states. You know, maybe. You know, if you want to try, some of them you make a try, some it's going to be a little bit more difficult. But we're going to be focused on the papaya in this video. And the reason why, you know, I'm putting papaya, starting with papaya, is because I don't think it gets enough credit, you know, for how versatile this, this survival crop is. Let's walk over to the papaya and, and finish this conversation over here. All right, this is the papaya here, you know. And the reason why I'm naming this as one of my favorite survival crop is it's very easy to grow and it yields a lot of food and you could use the food in multiple different ways. Everyone, you guys know, you go in the store, you see, you see, you see ripe papaya almost in every supermarket you go, you know, but you really ever seen the green papaya you know but the green papaya is where the versatility come with this food the green papaya you could use it to make a green papaya salad which is delicious just look up the recipe online you're gonna see multiple different plates it's more asian recipe you know and the green papaya again you could actually cook it like in a stew you could curry the green papaya or you could just stew it down with vegetables and stuff and it's extremely good with rice or a flatbread also the the the, the leaves of the is great in a tea it's a cleanser real important factor why i call this a survival crop <clears throat> it bears fruit 12 months of the year it have no specific season when it's gonna have a fruit, you know. And it, you know, from January to December, there's fruits on this tree. Just imagine you come out in your garden when everything has stopped bearing fruit. You could still come and get a fruit here, and you could use this fruit to make a meal for your dinner, for your lunch. This was one of my trees that stood up to the hurricane, which. I was amazed that it actually did because there was other trees that I thought would have and it actually broke, you know, but this, it did lose a lot of fruits that felt maybe, because this tree had maybe about like 20 fruits on it, you know, and this is what we have here right now, you know, so that's one of the great things is yield a lot of food. And I say you could use these food in multiple different ways. Let's walk over to another. Then we have, a, we have another one right here, yeah. You know, a lot of people complain sometimes about the papaya, the ripe papaya have a musty flavor. But to me is the, the, the type of papaya you have a, when you eat a papaya. If you leave the papaya to get overly ripe, like any fruit you leave to get overripe, the flavor is not the best. But an overripe papaya, put it in a blender, add some milk, blend it up you get one of the best smoothie ever this was one of this is one of my new varieties of papaya which i got from got the seeds from a friend in hawaii you know it did topple over from the the hurricane and i did like prop it up you know i use a container and kind i of prop it up here you know so it probably it probably spread back its roots and you know get stabilized back in the ground So guys, so, you know, 
this video is it won't be long it just gets straight to the point my reason why this is considered a survival crop as i said again it's easy to grow yield a lot of food from from seed you could just it's one of the easiest trees to grow it need no care if you live in the subtropics in a broadcast of seeds papaya trees is going to pop right up and within a year to a year and you know within a year to two years you're gonna have ton of fruits producing on that papaya tree which can be used as a tag in, in multiple different ways all right youtube so this was video number one you know i'm probably going to do five consecutive video you know so every two to three days i'll do another video about the, an, another survival crop all right so remember if you live in the subtropics, you know, definitely add a papaya to your, you know, you know, you might not like the, the ripe fruit, but I promise you, try making a, a green papaya salad, try making a, you know, the, the green papaya stew in curry, one of the best you know, meals you ever have. All right, so thank you so much for watching. I'll be blessed with peace, love, happiness, and kindness.